Corey and Maul, they responded to Joe, right? They said something about Joe in the list. They talking shit. And people are like, well, they did say that he was still top five. They gave him the respect, but they they it was a backhanded compliment. You're like, oh, the way the media is now, the standards and integrity of it now, yeah, you're top five in that, which is still like, yeah, you're top five, but you're top five in bullshit media. That's pretty much what they said in their in their thing. But regardless, they said that. Joe Budden came back and said, y'all the bare minimum boys. Y'all barely do shit. Y'all don't do nothing. Y'all da-da-da. Y'all get the bag and sit there and chill. Y'all don't got mic stands. Y'all don't got shit. You're trash, right, essentially. Rory said, hey, don't say nothing about me no more. I told you last time I seen you, don't speak about me. I ain't going to speak about you. You keep talking about us on a press run. Y'all keep doing this, doing that. But my thing was like, bro, I feel like Maul said multiple things about Joe Budden over like the amount of time that Joe Budden also speaks about them. So that was a little iffy. But now – Joe Budden has responded. I'm sure this is probably the last response. Rory and Marlon ain't going to respond again. Joe ain't going to respond again. But let's listen to what Joe Budden has to say for his final response to Rory and Ma. Like, why are you even telling me? It's none of my business. And he said, because I feel like I want you to know. And I said, all right, well, you're lying. And he said, how do you know? I said, because you're set. Mm. Not a $10 million set. <laughs> And then shortly after that, we stopped speaking, and then y'all wasn't at the set no more. And I'll admit, I want to know why. <laughs> you see what you started? <laughs> Yo, why y'all blaming me? This is just about to go bad. Go ahead. No, it ain't. I ain't yes, saying nothing so, wrong. I know. You have a way of not saying anything I'm talking wrong, to though. podcasters because the, because Bear and Minimum have done nothing but put on a master class <laughs> to put on a master class in how to lose fucking value. So I'm not talking to y'all. I'm talking to future podcasters to learn from your mistakes. <laughs> So I wanted to know why y'all left that. <laughs> why y'all left? So I wanted to know why y'all left that. <laughs> why y'all left that little studio? Stop, no, damn. <laughs> Yo, let me say this real quick. And you ended up in y'all in y'all oh, house. Shit. So then you started recording next to a graveyard, and I took a moment to laugh because I love when God and me see eye to eye on things. <laughs> but the problem with that is, <clears throat> I said to myself, "Now wait a goddamn second. All right. Oh, the nigga said, uh, well, we're not in the building no more because they didn't like how the dog was acting around here. And I said, that sounds familiar. But then I scratched my head. I said, wait a minute, Bear. You mean to tell me that these niggas gave you $10 million and said, hey, your dog can't come up here no more, and you stayed home with the dog? <laughs> Oh, what the f- <laughs> I didn't know he was going there with this, guys. <laughs> but we did. I just told you, you asshole. We did. <laughs> but why you didn't tell me he I goes in told like this? You, asshole. We did. It's what I- Yo, maybe this really this is, is an say. emotional support dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so essentially what I'm getting from that is Joe Budden's like, y'all telling me y'all niggas back filming at the house instead of this massive studio where y'all getting paid 10 10- that was the story. The story was Rory and Ma got paid $10 million. This to me is like, this, this, this kind of circles back to the academic thing and streaming. Like, bro, you got to get your bag where you can get it. Stitcher probably thought, given Rory, there is no, and this is no disrespect to them. This is just like looking at numbers and filling out whatever. Like, there is no way Rory and Ma made that $10 million back. And even making that $10 million back, Stitcher didn't give them $10 million. If, the, if that's a real number, they didn't get them niggas $10 million to just make $10 million. They probably gave them $10 million to make 20 30 or 40 And I don't know why they initially thought that. Ain't no way they recouped that $10 million. Now, maybe, what now? What if it's a $10 million for 10 years? I don't know what the deal is, the length of it. But you got to assume that probably after this deal, Stitch is probably looking like, damn. I would like to know whoever gave them that deal, are they still working at Stitcher? I just want to know. Like I said, no disrespect to them. They're still pulling like 50,000 people on YouTube. I don't know what their audio numbers look like. That's a, I want that. I'll take 50,000 viewers. So I'm not shitting on them. But when you look at it, like y'all got, y'all got $10 million split between two, $5 million each. Who knows what that goes into production budget, whatever. I don't know. But that's that's a sad look. The sad look. So I just, me personally, I would, like I said, I thought the JBP when it was them three was like the greatest podcast shit of all time. Um, 
I think, for, uh, like I said, depending on what it is, like if it's money shit, y'all got money now. I get it. You feel betrayed by a friend. Ma feel betrayed by Joe or Joe Bill. It's really Joe and Ma. That's really, I, like Rory spoke about it this time, but it's really Joe and Ma that, that got, you feel like that's the real stack. Like they would actually fight each other if they seen each other. But with that's like, it's just, I, it, to me, it's just like way more money in, in, in getting together. I don't even say you got to get together and do the show together forever again, but it's like being on good terms is probably better. Fan bases will mend. There are probably more fans will be like, oh, okay, y'all, Joe Rock with Rory and Ma, hey, fuck it, we'll go listen to Rory and Ma shit now. And that'll just bring you more viewers. So, you know, it, it is, you know, oh, y'all niggas that kicked out of the studio that's paying y'all $10 million because of a dog? I'm alluding that to mean that Stitcher ain't really happy with the performance of y'all show with them. Because like I said, get $10 million, it's like, you ain't you like, yeah, oh, they probably looked them them early numbers. Them 200,000, 300,000 views they was getting at first. They like, oh, yeah, we got to get a bag now. Let's get a deal now. Go to the studio now. Meet with people now. Because six, seven, eight, nine months, a year later, that 250 we was getting is now like 35, 40, 50. You know what I'm saying? And everybody that talks shit, I, I'm just getting, I love this shit. But everybody else talking shit, they talk shit about brilliant idiots, brilliant idiots failing. Brilliant, brilliant idiots, regardless if you like it or not, them niggas still put numbers on the board. Joe Bundam still put numbers on the board. Brittany is, I think, doing like 280 an episode, maybe 290, 270, whatever. But regardless, niggas, I love this podcast shit. So, um, flowers over a dog. Remember, they was clowning Joe over smoking in the bathroom. Yeah, that, I mean, that's true. Like, hey, you was, had problems with smoking in the bathroom, and now y'all can't go to the studio because you want to bring your dog. The company who gave them two of the bag are pissed they blew their money. Hey, you said it, buddy, not me. That's how I look at it as well. Like they're like, what the fuck do we spend ten million on these? We we could have gave ten million dollars to, you know, somebody who actually would come in here and put, like think about. It. There's a lot of there's a there's a lot of smaller creators, creators that maybe don't have the name of a, a Rory and because that was like Joe, Joe Budden podcast, like a mainstream thing, but they pull way more views. But you might not even know who they are. I'm talking like black media creators, whether in the girl type space that you know. Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, beep, da, 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 or even the hip hop space. There's people with way more viewers than those two people, or than those guys. They've had that name, so Joe Budden really like blessed them with with that essentially. 